Hey everyone, John Doyle from Optics EQ. Tomorrow's a big day. We have about 30 green keywords. Horses have green keywords in that last race running. So you want to get the silver plan. You want to look at that. What I'm going to show you is how to, once you have a green keyword, what do you do with it? Uh, how do you assess the horse, right? Because not all green keywords are created equal, depending on the situation the horse is in, you know, what class he's running in, the surface and all the rest. So you just don't want to bet things blindly. But the key green keywords have been just terrific. They're, they've, they've always been. They're just sensational if you want to improve your handicapping of form, form cycle, all the rest. They're just a great tool to have. So let me just dig in here. I'm going to show you. You go again. You get the silver plan. You can select optics rod. That's a great place to start because you can kind of filter on all this stuff. Uh, and there is a custom filter here. If you go green keyword and last race, boom, there it is. Uh, and I'm going to want to look at the first horse right in here, the number four, Joker Boy. Um, again, there's like 30, uh, I guess, 35 or something. So I'm going to click this horse. This is the one I want to look at. He's the first one on the list. Uh, he's running at Aqueduct Race 5 tomorrow, seven furlongs. And his green keyword is last race is kickback. Kickback is a little bit unique. I mean, some horses get kickback and all the rest. These are kick, when you see a green kickback, that really kind of impeded the horse's progress. And they were really getting in the face. It affected their running. Uh, some of the, you know, horse would lose action. So it's very important. And we we monitor these keywords and how well they could, uh, you know, fare over time. And this one has been sensational in terms of expected improvement on horses as they get this kind of kickback. Uh, you see right below is his race before was a kickback minus, which is a little bit you know, minor kickback, not, not as impactful. But still, this horse has had trouble in the last two races that will go under the radar pretty much. Um, so when I see a horse like this, I want to just see how he kind of compares, you know, with the rest of the field. One thing I always like to do is go to the summary V-bar and just see from a class, speed, and pace uh, situation, where does this horse fit? And on speed, he's a little bit above, a little bit below on the plot, kind of plots as a circle, and you know, which is okay in quadrant one here. He's like in quadrant two here. Could be some of the trips he's been getting. So, you know, we might, might want to give a little. And then class, he's right there. So he fits really, essentially, if I don't see anything major here, he kind of fits on all three categories. So I'm not going to hold that too much against him. Let's go to the grid. And we can isolate him a little bit more. Um, yeah, so he's had the two kickbacks in, in those last two races. He's got a little bit of a breather here in terms of uh, refresh. You can see he was taken out of the Potts barn and went to the, he's going to the quick barn. And, you know, again, with optics, we're not huge on trend statistics, but, you know, just want to see where things are trending. Uh, the last four days or, you know, since the meet started here at Aqueduct, uh, quick has been pretty good with a limited amount of horses, but also on the trainer stat here, the, the cloud stat, you can see he's very good with first after claim showing a high, uh, ROI, and that's with 20 starts. So he's, he's he's good with this. So from a trainer angle, I'm always a little eerie of horses changing barns and that being positive. But in this case, it's not a negative. Uh, if anything, it's a positive. Um, I want to just see this horse. I want to kind of filter on today's surface and distance. So if I go to surface and distance, uh, you can see this horse has kind of run some Run some really good speed figures, and it's been his other two races where he didn't run. Well, one race where he didn't run as well. That was against stakes horses. So this was early in his career at Del Mar. So this horse looks like seven furlongs is not going to be a problem. Again, you know, I I'm not going to dig into the other horses in the race. I'll let you to do that. But this horse to me is live at six to one in the morning line, based on the fact that he's had some trouble. He fits in all the categories. He's got those green keywords, and. Um, you know, I think he's worth a shot or look at. And, uh, you know, that's just one way to kind of assess uh, from the starting point of green keywords and rod to get to horses and try to select them and come up with ideas on how you might want to play the race. So that's me, John Doyle from Optics EQ. Check us out on, op on Twitter or X at Optics EQ. And also check us out on our website, OpticsEQ.com. And uh, thanks for supporting us. Take care.